And first, Mississippi is in recovery after a destructive tornado and strong thunderstorm swept through the state. Here's a video of that damage. Today, Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves requesting expedited major disaster declaration for those counties impacted by the storm, saying it's, quote, the scale of the damage and loss is evident everywhere affected today, from homes to businesses and even entire communities. Respond, recover, rebuild together. That is the mission. One of the many areas hit the hardest is the rural Mississippi town called Rolling Fork. ABC 24's Jay Shakur is here with more on the aftermath. Jay? That's right. That is right. Cleanup efforts are beginning in Mississippi with many still in the organizing phase. The Mid-South chapter of the Red Cross says they are deploying four emergency response vehicles to the affected areas to assist with feeding and providing other critical supplies. I spoke to a man who was able to get to Yazoo City. Now that's about 40 miles away from Rolling Fork last night during the storms, and he says he is on his way back today to help with the cleanup of a town that's now completely flattened. Chris Hall refers to himself as a storm chaser. That's a civilian that tracks storms and assists in local cleanup efforts. After Hall says he witnessed the devastating tornado as it ripped through the small town of Rolling Fork, Mississippi, Friday night. As you mentioned, that's a rural town just outside of Jackson. So far, the Mississippi Emergency Management Agency confirms more than 20 people were killed and dozens are injured. Chris Hall recalls the moment the tornado touched down. He says it was around 8 p.m. Central Time when it hit, leaving an impact that will be felt in this town and surrounding towns forever. There come the cone down. Little thin cone, literally just like an ice cream cone coming out of the sky. Ten seconds later, mile wide wedge. I mean, rapid intensification on that storm. We dropped about a mile south. I honestly thought it was coming straight for me, and I, I come into town, and I didn't know where to start. I mean, you, you had every building that you could see. I mean, it's rubble. Now, the Mid-South chapter of the Red Cross says they are deploying emergency vehicles tomorrow. Now, as it concerns that damage, they are going to go there to assist. I'll have more on this and the impact this tornado has had on Rolling Fork tonight on ABC 24 News at 10. Back to you. Thanks, Jay. Lieutenant Governor Delbert Holzman for the state of Mississippi released a statement today as well, saying the devastation, both in terms of loss of life and damage, is overwhelming here in Rolling Fork. The priority right now is search and rescue in addition to assessment of immediate needs. The statement goes on to say Mississippi is a big neighborhood and we will get through this together.